There is a pint-sized preacher in Jackson, Mississippi, who has everybody fired up. At just five years old, Samuel Green realized he had a special gift. Well, now, three years later, he's already a veteran at the pulpit, inspiring everybody who wants to listen wherever he goes. Take a look. He had nothing. He lost his land, he lost his animals, he lost his sons and daughters. But do you know what Job did? Job fell to his knees and began worshiping God, saying, The Lord has gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And you're preaching there, Samuel. Samuel's here with his mother, Joanne Green, and his mentor, Beverly Coleman. Welcome to everybody. Hello. Hi. You are just a bright light, aren't you, sitting over there? And you can preach even without those teeth. It's unbelievable. Now, do you, (laughs) when you're up there preaching, are you just memorizing things? Tell us what you're doing when you're up there at the pulpit. Well, it's something that I do, like, everyday stuff, and... I really don't forget, and I really don't get nervous because I know God has my back. God has your back. back. And do you have, are all your uh, your sermons about Bible stories? I cannot Well, yes. Uh Do you have a favorite one, like David and Goliath, or? Well, I have a favorite one, and it's named Job. Job. Job, that one right Because Job had double for his trouble. He had double for his trouble, yeah. Joanne, you must have been, were you surprised when you saw what was coming out of this little one's mouth? I was very surprised. I was very surprised. I was amazed. My husband and I, we was amazed just to see Samuel get up and preach without any notes or anything. And you took him to church, obviously. But when when did you realize he had the gift? How young was he? Well, I realized he had the gift when he was invited to speak at a church in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh And he stepped up and he preached without any notes. And it was just so amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he likes it. You're the only one I know that likes Job that much. Job, Job's a tough book to get through. Good for you. And Beverly, how did you get involved? Well, actually, uh, through his through preschool, uh, he was brought to me at age 13 months, which was a little early. I actually started teaching academically at age two, and I met him at 13 months. By 18 months, I knew he was gifted academically. How did yeah. you know that? Well, because uh, most teachers know that you do this repetitious yeah. work. And we were doing the repetitious work, and just out of spite, I said, Samuel, you do it. It's your turn now. Oh. And he did all of it, just like the three- and four-year-olds. He knew everything wow. we had been doing, just by observing. I hadn't yeah. started Samuel, teaching. What, 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 do your, what do your friends think about what you do? They really don't, they really don't mind. They don't They're mind. like, oh, Samuel is a preacher. Let's play soccer ball. <laughs> So you're well-rounded, right? You're an average kid, and, and when you're not preaching, do you mm. want to grow up and be a preacher? Yes, I want to grow up and be a preacher and a doctor that takes and a care. What? I want to grow up to be a preacher and a doctor that takes care of children. Oh, so like a pediatrician, mm-hmm. a pediatrician preacher. <laughs> I like it, Samuel. I'm in, I am totally ca- captivated by you, Samuel. I adore you. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> Samuel, thank you. Congrats, Congratulations. Yeah, congrats you, you too. Beautiful, beautiful young man. Well, this All is right. fun. Oh.